Oh guys, 51 Fox here and flea bags here. We're over for another nighter. This is just for quick to show Jacob. Outdoor dude 93. All this is guys. It's just a length of rope, maybe about 11 foot I would imagine. Double fisherman's on one end. Then just every so often just put an overhand knot in it. Simple. Down your tree, back your chest height. That end through. That's one on. Turn you around to the other end. Same rope, lads, exactly the same. Like that, all you want is make sure that your feet end is slightly higher than your head end. You get a better circulation then. No, I do. Trick that. On to about there. And same at the other end. Like that. And that's it up. Two seconds. That takes it all up. It's no problem with it at all. Hold on, there's Lee, look, getting his stuff ready. Hello. <laughs> if it's too loose, lads, just take it up to the next one. Like that. And that's that, that's it. That's all there is to it. So simple, so easy, no messing about with whoopee slings and up like that. That's it, just throw to these massive carabiners what I've got on here, they pull a two-ton truck, ten-ton truck I mean. Straight down look, to your other end. Carabiner also acts as the drip ring obviously. So if it rains it just come down the ropes then it'll just go strip straight off. Let me just kick Dutchie over. I like mine a little bit higher, lads. So, a bit higher than this, I think, even so. Like, so once you get in it, and that's it, you're in. Laughing, that's it. Easy, simple to set up. You can have it up, I would imagine, in about 45 seconds once you get it all laid out, no problem. So simple and easy. Don't want to make it complicated if you're out you're chucking down with rain or out like obviously you put your tarp up first if it were raining but it's a nice day here so we're alright. Lee's got a 10th wonder green on it, which is another good tarp. Uh, count hammock I mean getting mixed up now between hammock and tarp. And it's basically the same as what I've done, exactly well it's exactly the same as what I've done. Exactly the same. Got a bit simplest way to set it up, lads. I hope that's helped you, anyhow, Jacob. It's uh, that's the best way to do it. Obviously, you don't want carabiners that size. You only want light ones. A lot easier. So we're going to get set up, get the tarp up, and get my hammock chair up. And get a fire going later on, and then we've got a chicken curry for his tea. Plenty of toilet paper for it morning. So <laughs> I'll be alright. <laughs> of course we fetch my trusty little mate look. <laughs> so I hope that's helped you Jacob anyhow. Like I said, that's got the bit simplest and easiest way to set it up that has. We are having to mess about with different things and getting everything right and everything. Just click with Tom and you're away. Right guys, we'll catch you later on. Bye for now. All right guys, back again. Just a quick show you around camp, how we got all set up. 
famous hammock chair. Flea bag set up, got his hammock chair up, and nice and comfy, little table just having a brew. All set up, all perfect, all bang on for tonight, ready. I'm going to get Dutchie on in a bit, I've got a curry for tonight. And I've only had a subscriber, I forget who it were now, who's actually said about just try it uh, with so many wood pellets in to save wasting them. And I've just a quarter filled it, and you can see how it's going, just a quarter filled. And we've had a well, the full kettle, well, three quarters of a kettle full, so I would imagine over a litre of water in no time at all, like. So I wonder if I cut it down even more just for the brew. So it's just a trial and error, just sort everything out. Get it all sorted out and we should be all right. It's a lovely day, sun shining, spot on. Not too hot, nice under these canopy of trees. Keeps us a bit cooler. So we're gonna get a bit of wood ready later on for tonight. And get this tripod up, no faithful tripod, and Dutchy on. And then we're laughing. And Lee's <laughs> relaxing, it's chilling. Chilling. <laughs> right guys, we'll catch you later. Alright guys, we're back. Bit of prepping now for us tea. Jack Law, cut it up with. Onions. Just had a nice chill. Here in flea bag, we've had a great afternoon. Just gonna get a nice bit of tea and we've got a good fire going. Oh, bit of cooking now. I'm going to fry his onions off first until they're golden brown. And then we're going to put his uh, spices in. We hope Lee likes it hot. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, put his chicken in. Chicken's already been cooked, so it's only in master just putting it in and warming it through like so. Not them pellets, Lee? Yeah, where are they? Yeah. I'm going to try these pellets in the only stove. Yeah, something different. I can't see it making no difference. I can see it working all right. I can imagine. Should do for onions, I would think. These are great lads. Bit of chopping board at bottom as well, they've got hard plastic on bottom so you can chop on them and all that. Like Alright. Like I said before, in this wild stove, we've had them wood pellets in it. If once flame had gone down, they just left like a bright red hot uh, charcoal bits, you know, charcoal bits off it, and it lasted for ages, like three quarters of an hour. Just on this, just on charcoal, you still cook, could have cooked on it, you know what I mean? It's, it's spot on. So, what we'll do, we'll get this uh, Dutch oven out and get that warmed up. He's just got his. Trying the Trangier kettle out. Trangier kettle. Black bargain basement bargain. Yeah. And give that a whirl. <coughs> with these wood pellets and see what happens with that. Let's get this. Uh, Don't trouble that. To see how high we want it first.
Fucking hell, I hate it. There we go. Best ring. Get a bit of lard in. Can get these onions dried off. Remember it like this. And that's the first Cardex sheath attempt at the minute prototype spot on isn't it? It's cool. it does the job keeps that from chopping my thinkies off and use rivets I've used super glue with a plastic primer for it but it, it's worked it's done its job for this one till we get some rivets so we'll see how we go it's all right, isn't it? just keeps it in the rucksack yeah. Yeah, it's alright, yeah, isn't it? Pieces here. This is bang on that. Slow on that one, that's that starter gel still going. Oh, is it? Dinner bell. <laughs> Let that get warmed up and then we'll uh, put them in. Here. By the time you'll see this now, back in Badger, you'll be married. Somebody's got to do it, mate, I'm afraid, aren't they? I hope we should all the best, you and your wife, anyhow. Hope we have many happy years together. I was, when my daughter got married, I said the speech, this is true, this is not a joke, this is truth, this. And I did speech at end at night. Well, when we got back to reception for my daughter, I said to everybody, I says, I remember my wedding like it was yesterday. I said, if it had been tomorrow, I shouldn't have turned up. <laughs> and that's the truth, I did say that. I told my wife where I said it, like, don't get me wrong, I told her first. But she's, uh, she's not bothered, she's, she'll have a laugh, like, she's all right. Right, we'll get these. side. Let them get going lads and then we're going to get us chicken in. We've got a tin of tomatoes, like tomatoes Lee, don't you? Mm. Tin tomatoes. 
And then all the spices. Funky prepper, eat your heart out. That's not just curry powder, there's about 10 different, 12 different spices in that, there's all sorts in it. And little cardamom pods as well in it. But you can't, you can eat them like I eat them, but some people don't like them. All we're doing a bit guys, just lower it down a little bit. Once these onions get going. Got to put some more pellets in it, really, is it? Not some fire last time. Yeah. Don't last very long, does it that job? Looks like back to the wood. Yeah. <laughs> just tried, Lee's just tried. And wood pellets in this uh, honey stove and it's not worked since we start it from the top and it's not it's not took right well at all so we put some wood in it now but in that uh, other stove it works great like it's brilliant yeah white box stove is it white box stove yeah. in it yeah that's a mess in it only half full yeah. Yeah. Just do a quick review of my new meal box, Primus, Primus, however you want to say it, plate, cup, if you can call it a cup, condiment box, etc. That's quite a good lid actually on there. Tight fit, isn't it? Tight fit on there. Coffee. Spoony spork. Feels like it's going to break though every time you open and shut that. Mm. Oil bottle, salt, pepper, and whatever else. I need some corn on the cob next time. Yeah. I come. <laughs> put them in there for that. And then there's a chopping board, grater, knife, strainer. Did I say strainer? Yeah, That's all. Right. Everything in that. That's all right. Isn't it? And then your bowl, twelve quid. I didn't think that was too bad. No, it's so. not bad at all, that ain't. And everything fits nice and neat. Back in it. Spot on. Really good. I just don't know if I'd want to eat out of that. Do you know what I mean? When <laughs> yeah. you get it. Yeah. That's what I was on about. Maybe a plate, but we'll see. Yeah. That's just. Amateurs, get yourself one. Isn't that right, Foxy? Definitely. There's the dog business. Bob. Does Bob go in? You had Bob in your chair. No. You can't get in it. Never tried him in it. Bob. Watch out, mate. That's a bit wild. Yeah. Might serve on that. Bed. On your bed. 
Right guys, we'll uh, get these onions going and then we'll fetch you back in a bit when we put in uh, spices in. See you in a bit. <laughs> 